It's amazing, it's different from snorkeling. It's, I think this again brings more eyes onto the reef. It's just massively important that we engage in the world in its future and what an amazing way to do it. Uh, my name's Andy Ridley, I'm the CEO of Citizens of the Great Barrier Reef. Oh look, I'm really excited to, uh, to go in the sub, I've never been in one. I mean, I've dived on the reef for loads, but uh, yeah, being in the sub will be quite mind blowing, I think. It's a lot of money if you're used to paying, you know, 11 bucks for an Uber. Uh, 3,000 for an hour, but they get you there as well, which is out to the outer reef. So it's accessible and surprisingly well costed, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> what we're trying to do is build kind of two things. One, uh, one is a collective effort across the whole of the reef itself, um, and then secondly, engage the world in the conservation of the reef uh, and engage people, so citizens. It's, it, it is massive, you know, 2,300 kilometers. If you tipped it up against the side of the US, it would go from above Seattle all the way down to below Mexico. So, it's, it, I mean, it's the biggest reef system on the planet. If you're trying to do conservation on the reef, you, you need a collective effort. Like this, really, this project is a really great example where you're linking a whole load of things together. Conservation, tourism, high tech and shared economy kind of principles. So we have to think of the reef not as poster child for climate change, but as point inspiration for change. You know, when the bleaching happened back in 2016 and 2017, by the time the story got to Europe, Amsterdam or London, the story was the reef is dead. So you've got the power of connectivity, and then you've got, you've got the, the danger of lack of nuance. You either travel or you don't travel. Well, people are going to travel, but actually one of the simplest things you can do coming into Australia is get a route that decreases the amount you have to fly. Perfection's really hard movement at an incremental level quickly will get you there quicker. I mean, I hope it works in terms of people using it because if it does, they'll do it again. And you know, the more people we have out there doing, just seeing the reef in extraordinary ways, the better chance you have of just creating that, All right, let's make sure we don't lose this. And when we give up on something like the Great Barrier Reef, you know, what, what are we not prepared to give up on?